U.S. Space Agency NASA launched SpaceX Crew Dragon's second flight to the International Space Station on April 22. The Crew-2 with four astronauts on board lifted off at 6.11 a.m. EDT on April 22 from Launch Complex 39A at the agency's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Crew-2 flight carried NASA astronauts Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur, who will serve as the mission's spacecraft commander and pilot, respectively along with Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Sakahiko Ahashidio and European Space Agency astronaut Amasa Peskit, who will serve as mission specialists to the space station. The mission is the second of the six certified crew missions NASA and SpaceX will fly as a part of the agency's commercial crew program. Crew-1 successfully docked into the ISS in November, last year. The Crew-2 astronauts will remain aboard the space station for approximately six months as expedition crew members, along with three crewmates who will launch via a Russian Soyuz spacecraft. The increase of the full space station, crew complement to seven members, over the previous six, will allow NASA to effectively double the amount of science experiment that can be conducted in space. SpaceX has established itself as NASA's favored transportation provider under the commercial crew program as the agency waits on Boeing's troubled Starliner capsule to carry out key tests. Both companies have multi-billion dollar contracts with NASA. SpaceX's first crewed test flight in May 2020 ended nine years of American reliance on Russian rockets for rides to the ISS following the demise of the space shuttle program. The four astronauts will overlap for four days with the crew of Crew-1 before that team returns from its six-month mission. With three Russians on board, the station is set to become unusually crowded, accommodating 11 people with one astronaut sleeping in each of the docked SpaceX capsules. It will also be a labor-intensive time as the astronauts work around the clock to prepare the Crew-2 capsule for long-term spaceflight and prepare Crew-1 for its splashdown off the coast of Florida on April 28. The Crew-2 team has around 100 experiments in the diary during their six-month mission. These include an acoustic technique using ultrasonic waves to move and manipulate objects or liquids without touching them. Francis Peskett has said his favorite planned research is a study examining the effects of weightlessness on brain organoids, mini-brains created using stem cell technology. Another important element of the mission is upgrading the station's solar power system by installing new compact panels. The mission also comes at a time of increasing uncertainty about the future of the ISS with Russia announcing it was considering quitting the program and hoping to build its own space station in 2025. That's all for now. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and keep watching.